Okay, for our next big data source that's out there, CDC Wonder is that. Uh, CDC Wonder is probably one of the more powerful data sources out there um, in the health landscape in the United States or probably in the world. Um, the ability for you to be able to see underlying cause of death and um, be able to group that by state and by year, even by the day of the week, is pretty impressive. People have used this system for even looking at how um, turning back the clocks uh, for things like daylight savings time or moving them ahead or whatever uh, have had adverse impacts on human health. Um, they also may look at like relations with like, heat wave days and, and deaths and things like that as well. Um, some of CDC Wonder has been replaced by the Environmental Public Health Tracking Network and things like that, but uh, some of this underlying cause of death data, you know, death data can't be replaced anywhere else. Uh, CDC Wonder comes from an acronym. Um, so the acronym, Wide Ranging Online Data for Epidemiological Research. And the one that we're going to use here, you could use this or explore it for whatever you want, but underlying cause of death data. And I'm going to pull up uh, this particular one here. 1999 to 2020, so it's got 20 years worth of data. Uh, now we can look at it by year, um, or we can look at it um, as a group or by blocks of years. But before we can do anything, we have to agree that we're not going to try to use this information to do any harm or identify anyone. It doesn't provide names, but if you know somebody is the only person in the county or one of the five people who died from some particular disease, you can game it to try to find out other things about those few people, um, but it would take an extraordinary amount of effort, in my opinion. Um, so, um, as you break down these locations to finer and finer groups or smaller and smaller groups, say if you went from a state to a county, the likelihood of having a number of people die from that condition goes down. So you need usually at least five people in a group for the more people with the condition of causing the underlying condition for death. You need those people to have a reliable estimate. If you have less than like five or so, it's not going to be able to produce a reliable estimate and it may be suppressed. So we're going to look at state uh, level data or we can look at county. Let's do county because we get a lot of information. But if we're going to do county, um, we have to pick a disease. Um, that actually is one that's uh, more common because there's a lot of counties in the United States and you need something that happens in every county or most counties at least like five times in the last 20 years. So I'm going to pick on age adjusted rate too. I'm going to turn that on. Um, but It'll keep the other ones on the crude rate. We can even give it a title if we want to. And we can look, we can just choose a particular state. Um, we can also group by year, um, we can group by a certain age group, um, certain populations. Uh, we'll just do everybody, and as we just do everybody, um, we have all these different options of diseases and causes of death to choose from. Uh, we can focus first on some cancers, so the, the neoplasms, those are our cancers. We can open it fully, it shows everything that's, everything that's in the county, or everything that's in the system. Um, and it goes to very narrow definitions, or we can just do total neoplasms altogether. So um, the malignant neoplasms are the ones we tend to think of uh, as, you know, a malignancy as, as cancer or something like that. So there's all these different malignancies um, that are out here. So if you were interested in how many people end up dying from bronchus and lung cancer, um, we'll click on that and then we'll send it. So this is going to tell us by county um, the death rate and number of deaths associated with uh, the malignant neoplasms of I guess the bronchus and the lungs. And counties that have had very few are going to be suppressed so they won't, they won't show up. Um, and if we were to look at the total number of deaths, cities that have big, big populations are going to have the most and small areas will have the least. So the, the most amount of deaths from lung cancer and, and most number of deaths from lung and bronchial cancer is Los Angeles County. 
but that doesn't mean that that's where the rate's going to be the highest because 63,000 people is a lot, but there's 216 million people that are in this data set, 216 million person years of data uh, or people total possible over these 20 years. So more important are crude rates and age adjusted rates. Age adjusted is, you know, more closer to like what we can or can't do anything about. So age adjusted rates are more, more impactful. So the areas in the United States with the highest age adjusted rates for lung and bronchial cancer over the last 20 years are Union County, Florida, then these all in Kentucky, a lot of them in Kentucky. Um, so you can definitely see a pattern here um, of where these are the highest lung cancer and bronchial cancer rates in the United States. So you can use this system uh, to see if it's getting better or worse by grouping them by year. Um, there, I can go back and adjust the request form. We can look at something else uh, other than um, county related, um, you know, other than county related uh, cancers. So let's let's explore some other other options other than neoplasms. What are some other diseases that we could focus on? And I'm just uh, pulling this, you know, blank. These are all oh, those are benign neoplasms, um, but we can look at uh, diseases of let's see pick on something that's different oh there's pregnancy childbirth so we can uh, open this up fully these are uh, diseases associated with pregnancy we could do all of them or I expanded it um, it could it could tell us uh, potentially more um, so it can do it by HHS region um, not particularly sure where the disease data went there it is okay here they are um, so ectopic pregnancies that's a these things are things that are really big in the news right now abortions failed abortions clamps all these different things uh, I'm just gonna I don't know enough about um, the pregnancy diseases so we'll just look at deaths from deaths from childbirth and pregnancy all together so how many de and these are I believe referring to the mother maybe the mother only I don't know if they they're the ones include like the the baby or how that works you'd have to do more research on that but um, overall I'm sure if we pick the deaths by total number the big cities like LA County they got the most um, Harris County Texas got another whole bunch but in terms of age adjusted rates or crude rates in general um, so I don't know how the age adjusted rate plays in as much with with moms because sometimes being younger puts you at a greater risk for death. You know, there's kind of a optimal age range there. Um, but the crude rate. Um, so a lot of these counties in Georgia, pretty high rates, several of them. We do the age adjusted rate and see if it changes it a whole lot. Um, so uh, a lot of these particular communities. Um, you know, I've uh, learned through public health information that, uh, you know, if you were to group these by, you know, like race and ethnicity, that um, there you, you would see um, potentially strong differences between uh, white populations and non-white populations. But overall, um, of all the deaths in a particular county, too, we can see... Um, you know, Los Angeles County um, has had 550 deaths in this period of time. And uh, this cause of death, though, oh, I guess 2.9% of all the ones that happen in the United States are in Los Angeles County. That's not the percent of their total deaths. Um, so, but anyways, uh, good information. All kinds of different ways that people can die are listed in here from death by like four wheelers and by trucks and by bicycling, um, all kinds of trauma things, um, deaths from viral infections, really interesting data set to be able to use. 
uh, and there are some other ways of, of, of looking at it. So I'll stop here.